read. Or wander. I sit here now with paper and pen, like I did in Catholic school on Zuriga Avenue, focused on completing the task and staying within the lines and making marks with ink on the printed page, the blank space here without you. If I was a little old lady, I'd want a butch caregiver. Butchers are vigilant as German shepherds, sleep with their ears cocked, on call 24-7, follow you to the bathroom in the middle of the night, clear your path. You are queen. A butch will tuck you in at night with a well-spread blanket, say prayers in whatever language you speak hug you, rub your back and feet, keep your toes from curling up on one another, straighten each toe, kiss you on the forehead, get up the moment you open your eyes, cover your shoulders when your blanket wanders low at 2.43 a.m. Offer the strong crook of an arm for you to latch onto, be your walker, tote your oxygen tank, support you out to the car, help you breathe. Open the windows, open the jars, take out trash, coax you to eat, make coffee, toast your raisin bread, close the windows, surprise you with early morning pancakes, organize your meds, adjust the BiPAP so it doesn't cut the roof of your nose. Beg your permission, then make the decision to call the ambulance when you say, just hold me, I don't want to go anywhere. All right, you can read the rest. Hard candy, pitch roll your. Enjoy. Read. She has to go to China to serve the poor, but the Pope said, I'll send you where they need you more. Go to the U.S. of A. Help those Italian-American immigrants and all the wretched strays. Go to the U.S. of A. It was 1889 when she landed in New York. English, the Italians could barely talk. She got street smart, rolled up a sleeve, her secret...